So Chris Spiker, I'm talking with Walt Waltos, the owner, originator, CEO of Simulations Plus. Plus. Simulations and Plus. You're one of the speakers. I am. And you've been in the Valley for 20... Well, I came out here first in 1976. I worked for the Air Force Rocket Lab out at Edmonds. Uh, then went up to the Bay Area, worked up there for a while, came back here in 80. So I've been back here now for 25 years. Next month. You have an amazing business. And finally, the Board of Trade has you as a speaker at the Outlook Conference. So what does your company do? Well, we make software that's used in uh, pharmaceutical research. So uh, we have software that simulates how drugs are absorbed when you take a pill, where it goes into your body, how much of the drug goes into your brain, your heart, your muscles, your bone, and so on. Uh, we have uh, software that's used in chemistry, where uh, chemists can use it to design new molecules. Uh, we do consulting services. Our market is global. And we don't have a single customer in the Yellow Valley. <laughs> we uh, do have some California customers, but about 50% of our business is U.S. and the rest is Europe and Asia. Well, congratulations for doing business in California. That's not an easy task. Uh, it's been uh, interesting. <laughs> and how did you choose the Antelope Valley? Well, again, when I came out here in 76, I worked for the Rocket Lab. And then when I went to the Bay Area, I uh, decided that the weather and the housing prices and all that back in 88, when we came back down here, uh, things were better down here. So what are you going to talk about tomorrow? What, what uh, just give a quick uh, overview of our company and uh, the company that it was based on, the predecessor company, which was called Words Plus. And uh, that company, we had a very different business. We developed communication aids for people who are severely disabled. And the most famous of them is uh, Professor Stephen Hawking right. in, in England, a very famous uh, physicist. Now, how many years ago was that? 1985. So, uh, yeah, it'll be 28 years now that he's been using our systems and still does. Uh, we did sell that company about 15 months ago uh, to an Ohio company, and fortunately, about two weeks ago, they seized operations. Wow. The industry is undergoing some pretty hard times. The company that bought it also laid off about 20 of their own people. Uh, and so Words Plus no longer exists. So your timing is pretty good. Uh, well, I guess we dodged the bullet a little bit, you might say. Yeah. <laughs> so part of it, part of what we want to do at an economic seminar is to figure out, you know, where you've been and where you're going. Right. So maybe we're going to like uh, ask a couple of questions that will give us a little insight about it what to do differently in the future. Yeah, well one of the things that we've done that, that as far as I know is unique is we're, uh, we're, I believe, we're the only local company in the Antelope Valley that's ever gone public and is now listed on a major stock exchange. We're a NASDAQ company. Uh, we went on the NASDAQ in 1997 uh, after founding Simulations Plus a year earlier in 96 uh, on top of the portions. And you know, the first few years it was tough. In fact, for quite a few years it was tough. But uh, now, the last uh, 10 years, we've been almost continuously profitable, setting new records each quarter. Uh, still growing through all the global economic crisis a few years ago. And, uh, still there. Uh, most people don't know we're here. You know, I've got a team of uh, 20 or so PhDs that develop state of the art software. And where do you find PhDs but close to a rocket lab? Well, uh, none of these are aerospace engineers. I'm the only aerospace engineer in the company. Uh, you know, I'm, and I'm less of that now than I am in pharmaceutical science, of course. Uh, but we have chemical engineers, pharmaceutical scientists, uh, medicinal chemists, uh, one or two IT people, uh, and, and some uh, administrative people. But the, the majority of them are PhDs in one of the sciences that relates to uh, research and pharmaceutical engineering. A business like yours uh, doesn't have employees just here. You probably have employees and uh, We have a few consults. others in California. Uh, they're all in California. One in uh, Petaluma works out of his home, our chief scientist, who was here for many years. Uh, was a professor at USC for about 20 years before he came on with us. We've got one in San Jose. He's a Stanford uh, PhD. Uh, worked here for a few years and then up there. We've got one in uh, San Diego. He's a uh, Harvard PhD. Uh, worked for San Diego company and came up here and worked with us for a few years. And, uh, so we could write a book about you and call it the right stuff. <laughs> Pretty much, huh? Well, I always uh, tease people, you know, I, I'm uh, not a PhD. I went to school at Auburn University in Alabama. 
but I have a Harvard PhD, a Stanford PhD, a USC PhD, uh, all working for them. So it, it's working out okay. Yeah. They're good people. And we've had a lot of fun together. And the business has done quite well. well. Mr. Waltos, we appreciate you having me here. Thank you, sir. In the Antelope Valley and speaking tomorrow, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thank you.